The following is a paid advertisement for the original Banjo Minnow. Brought to you by Original Banjo Bait Company. Fishermen everywhere, you are going to hear firsthand another bass on that banjo minnow. See beyond a shadow of a doubt. Let's go! And amazed at what fishing influencers are talking about. Going banjo, baby. There we go. Check it out. Banjo minnow all day, baby. And what fishermen everywhere have been saying for years about the banjo minnow. I fished the original Banjo Minnow when it was the original as seen on TV lure and it was one of the few as seen on TV products that worked as seen. 100% best lure I have in my box. The first time I showed my cousin, he was just freaking out. That looks like a real minnow. That looks like a real minnow. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Literally is the best fishing lure ever, ever. With two million Banjo Minnow kits originally sold, we're going to show you why skeptic after skeptic have had their minds oh, there we go. Fish on. totally blown away. My first introduction of the Banjo, I was kind of maybe a little skeptical. But I'll tell you this, I'm willing to try anything when I'm out fishing. I did, and I've been out several times. I've hooked up every time. Already on again. Three cast almost in a row. I just keep catching fish. I mean, like, sizable fish. I wouldn't go without it. I was freaking out because one, I couldn't believe how cool it was that the lure worked so effectively, but two, this is a huge fish for this spot of the river, especially. Right. And why fishermen have been and are still convinced that the Banjo Minnow is the most significant investment in fishing lure technology in history. You're, you're mimicking a, a real live minnow. I mean, and what does every fish eat? Minnows. It looks like a minnow, it acts like a minnow, it dies like a minnow. And today, the Banjo Minnow is back and better than ever. I know what kind of damage I could do with the Banjo Minnow now on the water. They're so soft and they have so much action. Like, look at it. It literally folds over on itself. It's so soft. I honestly truly don't think they can help this stuff with this thing. I don't think that they can help it. When they see that thing coming down, it just looks so lifelike. I don't care what kind of fish it is. If they see it, they're going to eat it. Don't go away. You are going to witness what happened when this professional angler used traditional lures to try to catch these finicky fish. Then, what happened when these fish saw the banjo minnow for the first time? First cast, hook up. Second cast, hook up. And then right after that, another hook up right away. It's phenomenal. I think we caught like nine or 10 fish, largemouth and crappie. It's not like any other rubber I've seen, you know, with the stretchability it has without ripping, the lifelike, the wiggle from the head to the tail is just astronomical. Whether you're a kid fishing for the first time, a recreational fisherman, or a serious angler who wants an edge, not fishing with the banjo minnow, you're fishing for second place. The banjo minnow is proven to make fish bite even when they're not hungry. We're back, fishes. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Hello everyone, I'm Ken Carey. Over 25 years ago, I helped introduce to fishermen everywhere this, the banjo minnow. And yep, that's me. I'm not a professional fisherman, but I love to fish. And if you do too, stick around. This will change the way people will fish forever. Back then, we introduced the term genetic response and how that significant discovery has and will continue to change the minds of millions of fishermen of what's never been possible, and that's the ability to make fish bite even when they aren't hungry. No fishing lure has ever been designed to do what only the banjo minnow does. It's so lifelike. It wiggles, it swims like a real fish, moves with spastic random actions, zigzags, jumps and dives in all directions, and this, the ability to mimic the action of a crippled dying bait fish it actually activates a fish's natural genetic instinct to attack, literally making fish bite when they're not hungry. Whether it's fresh or salt water, the banjo minnow catches fish. And I mean big fish. That's it. Right there, baby. Get out of monster fish on the banjo. Killer. As you can tell from those pictures, that's all the proof I need to stand here today and tell you why the banjo minnow is the best fishing lure I've ever used. And I'm not alone. I have always talked about the banjo minnow to all my friends and family, and they get probably sick of it, but it catches me fish all the time, all different species of fish. I've caught walleye, uh, northern crappie, sunfish, of course, largemouth and smallmouth bass. So <laughs> it's an amazing lure. 
There is nothing on the market that I have seen to this day resembles anywhere close to what the banjo does. It's unreal as the way it moves underwater. Just a few twitches of the rod makes it just come alive like, like if it was alive. That to me just blows my mind. I was first introduced to the banjo minnow by my good friend Wayne Hockmeyer. As a tournament fisherman, he wanted to create an artificial bait that fished like live bait. He knew from his experience that live bait always outfish conventional lures. Nobody has ever, ever tried to actually duplicate nature. Never made a bait or a lure that actually looked like a real fish or swam like a real fish, or more importantly, swam like a crippled or hurt fish. Today's fishing lures have flashy colors, flashy finishes, and even sectioned bodies to appear lifelike, but they all still have the same mechanical repetitive action. Wayne's first design was so lifelike that when he started using it in tournaments, immediately he went from back of the pack to winning $5,000 and $10,000 tournaments. And it was on a, not even a bait this good, it was a prototype of the banjo minnow. And so you're, you're convinced that's what got you to that point? Well, I know it is. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was winning the tournaments on. <laughs> I had a, a secret advantage. That was the moment he knew he had created something special, and the banjo minnow was born. And after hearing over and over and over for years, how can I get more banjo minnows? That's when we decided we have to bring the banjo minnow back for fishermen everywhere. And that's where this guy comes in. This is my son-in-law, Chance, who is an accomplished fisherman. I didn't grow up with a banjo minnow, so when you first told me about it, I was a little bit skeptical. What were you most skeptical about? Well, I knew it was on TV, and I was afraid it was maybe, you know, one of those hokey TV lures. I, I wasn't sure. That's what I thought. Uh -huh. But then I went online, and I did a little research, and I was kind of blown away with what I found. I discovered this whole community of people that absolutely love fishing the banjo minnow because they believe in them so much. But why does that impress you? Well, any lure that has this big of a following is worth at least trying. And so as someone that likes to believe I'm a smart fisherman, I knew I had to at least give it a go. But basically, if it was seen on, as seen on TV, that's when people think it's a gimmick. But this, this does work. It, it does what it's supposed to do. It catches fish. It looks like, like it looks like a dying minnow. The way it was explained on the commercial is exactly what you would see in the water. It really is the most lifelike lure I've ever thrown. But what really impressed me was the first time I ever tried it. It was on the river I grew up fishing. I know this river really well. I know what hits. I know when to fish it. And all of a sudden, the bike turned off. And we were about to come in for lunch. And I decided, what the heck? I'm going to try the banjo minnow. So in my first cast, I put it right along the edge, right by these tulies. I let it sink a little bit, let it die, twitched it one time. I see this giant flash and I felt something heavy on the end of my line. Oh, man, it's the biggest. And now we call that flash the banjo flash. Oh, my God. Love the banjo. <laughs> Whoa, oh, my gosh. And this was the very first time you used the banjo minnow because you were a skeptic at that point, right? Yes, yeah, and, and I'll tell you what, that changed my fishing life, my fishing career forever. Check it out, banjo minnow all day, baby. <laughs> nice. So what was the most unique thing, the thing that kind of shocked you the most about the banjo minnow when you first saw it? That's easy, it was the hook at the front of the minnow. You know, I'd, I'd never seen anything like that. It makes the minnow come alive. We took the hook out of the fish, which in an essence took the backbone out. And literally what it did is made plastic swim. Because it's a patent pending design that does two very important things. It allows the banjo minnow to swim like a real minnow. And number two, it makes it easier to hook up when a fish bites. And this is the secret right here, the patent pending design where the hook is right at the nose. This allows the minnow to come alive, and when you see the banjo minnow in action, it looks totally lifelike. Not just in how it swims, but also in how it escapes, and it looks just like a real minnow. You know what, there's just nothing else that swims or that you can make as realistic as the banjo minnow. I don't own anything that, that swims like that. Twitch it, it flutter a little bit, and that's what I'm gonna get the bite. It has that very lifelike movement. Uh, that's so different about the banjo minnow. 
and that you get results when nobody else is. And that's what's so fun about it. And when you see the footage, almost every fish we caught on camera either inhaled it or bit the banjo minnow right at the head. When they do that, the fish automatically hooks itself, so your strike to hookup ratio increases significantly. When we decided to bring back the banjo minnow, it was extremely important to us to keep the integrity of the original banjo minnow, most importantly, how it swims and its lifelike appearance, but also, it's been 25 years since the original banjo lure was introduced. We spent over two years designing and refining its appearance and testing on the water with professional guides, and most importantly, fishermen who still use the banjo minnow today. Now we can go out there and make sure our clients catch fish. It's gonna change the uh, game, definitely. And there's a fish. The banjo works really well. <laughs> where the banjo minnow separates itself from all other soft plastic lures. It's in its action. We developed what we call living plastic. This living plastic is a proprietary plastic that is incredibly slippery and flexible, while also being incredibly pliable and durable. This is why the banjo minnow is the most lifelike fishing lure ever created it's because of the spastic action of a crippled, dying minnow that no other lure can do. That action of the banjo minnow is what predator fish come alive for and why we keep hearing from fishermen everywhere that the banjo minnow is a must have in their tackle box. Well, number one, it catches fish. If I haven't started with using the banjo minnow, I have always ended up using the banjo minnow. There'll be those dead points, all of a sudden the bite's off. But I can tell you this, I've been able to, with the banjo, figure out how to get the bite back on. That's why it's probably right up in the front of all of my tackle that's in my boat. I, I wouldn't go without it. Going banjo, baby. What we found out was we had made a fishing lure so lifelike that it could make fish bite even when they weren't hungry. That's why we took our cameras underwater and alongside us and went all over North America, not to just see fish being pulled in, we wanted to show fish striking or eating the banjo minnow. We were basically putting our money where our mouth was. I just keep catching fish. I mean, like, sizable fish. I wouldn't go without it. There we go. This works when they're not hungry, and that is no joke. Another bass in the back of the work pond, bro. Oh, I'm hyped. Now you can make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with the Banjo Minnow, the world's first genetic response fishing lure that makes fish bite even when they're not hungry. And proven to produce that big catch across all species, both fresh and saltwater. The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 102-piece fishing system that includes 24 lifelike minnows in three different sizes and four fantastic colors. Shiner silver, foliage green, green pumpkin, and electric yellow. Each minnow features a slippery streamlined body. Holographic eyes and shiny scales made from our proprietary living plastic that is incredibly flexible with one-of-a-kind durability. You also get 12 banjo hooks in three sizes for each size minnow. 30 positioning O-rings that hold the hook in perfect position for solid hookups. The patent-pending weedless nose hook is screwed into the front of the minnow with one of these 12 extended length nose anchors in two sizes that go in deep for a secure hold while allowing amazing lifelike action on top. Violent surface strikes and down deep where the lunkers hide. 24 rubber weed guards allow the banjo minnow to be thrown anywhere in the trees, over logs, on top of docks, or through the reeds. No more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made, and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. I want to say 90% of the time that I have used it, it's produced fish for me, if not 100% of the time. Go online and order now.
and you'll get exclusive access to the Catch the Big One video series, the how-to videos where you'll learn secret retrieve tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. The entire Banjo Minnow fishing system includes 102 pieces, exclusive access to video instruction. A $60 value can be yours for just two no-brainer payments of only $19.99. Don't forget to ask about our best-selling lifelike banjo frogs. You'll catch more and bigger fish than ever before, guaranteed with the Banjo Minnow. There's no need to wait to make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with the Banjo Minnow. What you're about to see is original and real banjo user footage of actual strikes caught on camera from almost every game fish in North America. This challenge has never been duplicated, mainly because no other lure is as versatile as the banjo minnow. In the border waters of Canada, we started getting actual strikes on camera when this huge northern pipe stalked down and destroyed the banjo. Then in western Pennsylvania, this giant rainbow trout immediately saw and chased down and ate the banjo. Off to the saltwater flats of Florida, where this redfish tracked down and ate the banjo right off the bottom. Then we went down south to the Keys and caught this monster tarpon, which are notorious for being extremely finicky towards artificial lures. Deep in the mangroves, I took this snook, which turned out to be one of the biggest caught all year. Back up in Canada, we caught this jumping lake trout, chasing the banjo right on the top. Then we wrapped up all the major species of trout with this huge brown trout. And to prove there's a perfect size banjo for every size fish, we caught this bluegill on the three inch banjo minnow. And this banjo customer used a four and a half inch banjo minnow to catch the biggest crappie I've ever seen. It didn't matter what size banjo we used for bass because they either slammed it on the surface or the genetic response caused a frenzy as a big bass inhaled it. Largemouth, smallmouth, and stripers on the central coast of California, all taken by the banjo minnow. You let me pick five different lures for my tackle box. Banjo minnow is going to be the first one I'm grabbing. In my experience, I have always, if I haven't started with using the banjo minnow, I have always ended up using the banjo minnow. Using the banjo minnow, we've caught largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, catfish, northern pike, basically all the fish that live in our waters, probably even crappie, and, and we had bluegill attempt to, but they couldn't fit it in their mouth. But they tried, they tried. Earlier this year, we took the banjo minnow to one of the biggest fishing shows in the West. Even after just about every other lure company at the show ran their bait through the tank, we were up next. I got a little nervous because the guy before me, you know, full fishing guide, sponsored, he was out here throwing pretty much one of everything that would be in a typical tackle box. And he got zero bites, zero fish. So I was really nervous that, you know, maybe the water's too cold, but literally first cast, hook up, second cast, hook up, and then right after that, another hook up right away. It's Phenomenal. I think we caught like nine or ten fish, largemouth and crappie. You caught the crappie. You caught the See, I told you. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to get those. <laughs> then you're gonna kill me. <laughs> it's okay. I can't he, wait. He, I saw a lot of action with that thing. The crappie was just biting them like crazy. It's not in, like any other rubber I've seen. You know, with the stretchability it has without so ripping, so the lifelike, the wiggle from the head to the tail is just astronomical. Why don't you tell everyone what makes the banjo minnow so irresistible to fish? Well, actually, there's five unique reasons why. First, it looks like a real minnow. Its lifelike appearance is second to none. Second, it's neutrally buoyant. It neither floats to the surface or goes crashing down to the bottom. Number three, it has random directional action. It swims up, down, sideways, all over the place, just like an escaping bait fish. Number four, it also has random body movement. The entire body of the minnow moves. And five, when it dies, it doesn't move at all. The same way a real dying minnow looks. Okay, so those are the top five, but I gotta tell them about the sixth bonus feature, that it catches virtually every species of fish. And that's right, because all fish feed on bait fish. It doesn't matter if it's salt water, fresh water, rivers, streams, lakes, the banjo minnow will catch fish. These five things, along with the bonus, make the banjo minnow unlike any lure in the world. 
That means anybody can catch fish with the banjo minnow, and that makes fishing fun. Nothing is more frustrating when the fish aren't biting and you come up empty. You never have to worry about that again. Now you can make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with the Banjo Minnow, the world's first genetic response fishing lure that makes fish bite even when they're not hungry. The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 102-piece fishing system that includes 24 lifelike minnows in three different sizes and four fantastic colors. Shiner silver, foliage green, green pumpkin, and electric yellow. Each minnow features a slippery streamlined body holographic eyes and shiny scales made from our proprietary living plastic. You also get 12 banjo hooks in three sizes for each size minnow. 30 positioning O-rings that hold the hook in perfect position for solid hookups. The patent pending weedless nose hook is screwed into the front of the minnow with one of these 12 extended length nose anchors in two sizes that go in deep for a secure hold while allowing amazing lifelike action on top violent surface strikes and down deep where the lunkers hide. 24 rubber weed guards allow the banjo minnow to be thrown anywhere. No more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. Go online and order now and you'll get exclusive access to the Catch the Big One video series, the how-to videos where you'll learn secret retrieve tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. The entire Banjo Minnow fishing system includes 102 pieces, exclusive access to video instruction. A $60 value can be yours for just two no-brainer payments of only $19.99. Don't forget to ask about our best-selling lifelike banjo frogs. There's no need to wait to make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with the Banjo Minnow. Tell everyone why we go to such great lengths to show the Banjo Minnow in action. Well, when we created the illusion of a crippled dying minnow, we got an enormous increase in the amount of strikes that if we didn't show it, no one would have believed that we actually made a bait that could make fish bite. We also wanted you to hear from fishermen who were also skeptical. That to me is the real story because it was the real experience. There's no BS, just the truth. That's a nice toad. My first introduction of the banjo, I was kind of maybe a little skeptical. I'll be catching these dinks on the traditional bait, you know, all day long. We'll throw on the banjo in a color that you sometimes you wouldn't think would work and, and I've landed the biggest fish. I was surprised on how many largemouth I was catching and they were sizable, and it was definitely a change that I just said, wow. The hog broke off when I landed him on the back of the sea dew. Beast. This, this really works. It works well. Even the skeptic people need to give it a chance. In order not to be a skeptic, try it. The banjo minnow catches fish. Here's the proof right here. I have a six pound, 10 ounce largemouth. Caught it on a banjo minnow. And if you're still skeptics, you're crazy. I've watched info marshals. I wasn't going to buy them. I thought it was a gimmick and all of this. But when I was on the lake in a tough bite in a boat with a friend of mine, and he took out the banjo minnow, and he outfished me, he taught me a lesson real quick. <laughs> now I own banjo minnows. <laughs> it's that simple. All I can say is watch the footage and try it for yourself. When you see for yourself how the banjo minnow swims erratically, randomly darts and dives in all directions, and then all of a sudden, a fish comes up and eats it. And that happens over and over and over. If that doesn't prove it works, I don't know what else to say. People also ask, why do I need a banjo minnow when I have a lot of really great lures already? I want to be clear here. I'm not saying traditional lures and other soft plastic baits don't work. We all know they do, but it takes a certain skill set, and most of the time, the fish need to be biting, and most lures are unique to a specific fish. A spinner bait can only do one thing. A crankbait can only do one thing. Well, the banjo's one thing is resembling a live or dying fish. We don't go fishing to not catch anything. But to be honest with you, you probably just need that. You know, take that with you on a rod and you're good to go. It, it works. 
It works, it works, it works. I can't stress it any more than that. Hey, it works. I've used the banjo minnow since almost its existence, and it's been one of my go-to, you know, my go-to things. The best results. That's key to any fisherman. It's a result. Is it going to catch you fish? It will definitely catch you fish, without a doubt. It's done it for me for over two decades. If you're a fisherman and an angler, you can literally just use your common sense and look at the bait and see you just know this thing is going to work. The bait is so realistic that it's a no-brainer. They're going to eat the bait, period, period. And that's why you need the banjo minnow. Because when you get those precious weekends to go out fishing, there's nothing more frustrating than not catching fish. Now you never have to worry about that again because that's where the banjo minnow separates itself and has an unfair advantage from all other lures. So you actually spend more time fishing and catching and having a lot more fun with the banjo minnow. This bait is phenomenal. It is totally phenomenal. I've never seen nothing like it. I caught fish on the banjo minnow and it's impressive. There we go. It is a finesse fisher's dream. It looks like a minnow, it acts like a minnow, it dies like a minnow, it does catch fish. Now you can make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with a banjo minnow, the world's first genetic response fishing lure that makes fish bite even when they're not hungry and proven to produce that big catch across all species, both fresh and saltwater. The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 102-piece fishing system that includes 24 lifelike minnows in three different sizes and four fantastic colors. Shiner Silver, Foilage Green, Green Pumpkin, and Electric Yellow. Each minnow features a slippery, streamlined body, holographic eyes, and shiny scales made from our proprietary living plastic that is incredibly flexible with one-of-a-kind durability. You also get 12 banjo hooks in three sizes for each size minnow. 30 positioning O-rings that hold the hook in perfect position for solid hookups. The patent pending weedless nose hook is screwed into the front of the minnow with one of these 12 extended length nose anchors in two sizes that go in deep for a secure hold while allowing amazing lifelike action on top violent surface strikes and down deep where the lunkers hide. 24 rubber weed guards allow the banjo minnow to be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, on top of docks, or through the reeds. No more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made, and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. Go online and order now and you'll get exclusive access to the Catch the Big One video series, the how-to videos where you'll learn secret retrieve tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. The entire Banjo Minnow fishing system includes 102 pieces, exclusive access to video instruction. A $60 value can be yours for just two no-brainer payments of only $19.99. Don't forget to ask about our best-selling lifelike banjo frogs. You'll catch more and bigger fish than ever before, guaranteed with the Banjo Minnow. There's no need to wait to make every fishing trip a great fishing trip with the Banjo Minnow. The proceeding was a paid advertisement for the original Banjo Minnow, brought to you by Original Banjo Bait Company. This has been a production of Script to Screen, the leading performance marketing agency. Data-driven creative content for all channels. Let's take your brand to the next level.